Hi, this is Greg Driver. Today I will show you how to set up body tracking with webcam. The configuration is quite straightforward. Easier than setting up Kinect or even Vive trackers with non-lighthouse VR. So select webcam, deep learning. Open options and select your camera. PS3i camera is also supported. When you start driver for VR, you should see camera feed with your pose detected and the tracker floating below your head. I recommend to rotate camera because you will get tracking at as short distance as 2 meters or less. First is to prepare your room. Ensure that you have unified background and you are clearly visible. But as you can see, my room is not perfect and it works really nice. So open desktop preview and walk around your gameplay area. To calibrate trackers and your VR setup, Please stand in the middle of the webcam. That helps a lot to get good result. Point your hands forward to see where camera really is and adjust your pose to stand directly forward. Now click calibrate. The trackers will jump temporarily ahead so you don't need to look down. Now use head rotation to point trackers directly into the webcam in real world. Keep that until you hear applause. And now your calibration is over. In the camera preview you see how many FPS is camera doing and what would be the maximum possible FPS for your CPU. You can adjust model complexity. Lightweight model should work on low-end machines. It is about 70% faster. From my observation it mostly affects fit rotation. Regarding calibration in games like VRChat or Neos VR, I recommend to prepare in the same way like VR setup. That is, stand in the middle of the webcam, ensure that you are front facing it and use mirror for calibration. And that's it. When you complete it two, three times, you will find that is very easy thing to do. Ok, it is time for some pros and cons for this method. About the precision. Webcam is not depth camera like Kinect, which is better about depth distance and precision. So with webcam you can expect quite decent detection of left-right and up-down movement, but forward-backward to camera may be not the best, but it's there. On the other hand, webcam is better about pose identification, in particular seated pose, a side pose, crouch or from behind. Overall, if you want to use it for VRChat and Neos VR to mess up with friends, Webcam is a winner for me, given the low cost and how it is easy to set up. Last, but not least, is lighting and FPS. Daily light work the best and should give you 30 FPS. Unfortunately, default room lighting doesn't have so much illumination and cut my FPS to 7 or 8. That will affect tracking significantly. I tried to get extra direct lighting, but that improved my FPS only to 15. What really helped was to enlighten the background of my room instead of my body and producing some kind of shiny area in the background. And that's it. If I have any further instructions or tips, they will be on the support website. And please join Discord server to get ideas from the community. Thanks for watching.